Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Drinking Bros, fake news. Is that a remix? 45 got acquitted, Tiff. <laughs> You I know fucker. you kept saying it all last night. I know. Um, we talked about it on our show where I heard, you know, the blonde that was sitting next to him that giggled. I knew that was it. Once he gets one oh, giggle, I was laughing at will, him. I was, he will do it the rest of the night. I was mainly laughing at you because you were making them feel uncomfortable because you kept like jerking off, I, like acting like you were jerking off, and then like hanging yeah, yeah, yourself, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and then like forty five. You could tell you some people were was, uncomfortable. You know, there was one guy out there who to celebrate. Yep. yep. Strangle bait for sure, yeah. right? That's how he <laughs> celebrates everything. Yep. It had nothing to do with Trump or Good any of that. You know how many people strangle baited around the nation last night because of that Ugh. acquittal? Well, I don't know. 1,200 people a year die from it, so probably quite a few. Quite a few. A couple, at like least. If, like 2 or 3% who do it die from it. That is quite a few. That's hundreds of thousands of people. The, now, the fucking, biggest deal in this is uh, Trump got acquitted it's math, bitch. What's the up? day before you were born, <laughs> Anthony. It's Anthony's birthday. Oh, yeah. I know. That's why he's wearing these fucking Happy birthday, shades. Anthony. That's why yeah, he's hiding from the world. On. No, I just like the slide is super bright. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's too cool. Your future is too bright. Did some drinking <laughs> last night. Gotta wear shades. Goddamn right oh, we did. God. Why? Because 45 got acquitted. And Dan's birthday. And Dan's birthday, <laughs> but yeah. Well, Mainly Dan's birthday. Okay. You know, it's also uh, Babe Ruth's birthday and Ronald Reagan. Ah. Um, okay. Congratulations. And it's, wow. uh, hold on. It's Let's not- say you had to choose one in this world to live and the other one never existed. Who is it? Uh, Babe Ruth would same, live. Same, man. Yeah. I don't give two fucks about Ronald Reagan. He raised taxes Rude. five out of the eight years he was in the fucking presidency. So yeah. good fuck, Ronald Reagan. And his wife Reagan. took away drugs. And Way he to couldn't go, party. Nass, you bitch. He couldn't party, but I think Babe Ruth would be a fucking fuck good time. Yeah, oh, yeah, dude. Ripping rails. That's, fucking horse. That's what you want to fucking know about. You want to know, um, not for president. I wouldn't vote for Babe Ruth for president. No. Maybe. Or George Bush. Let's be real. Yeah. But, but I'd party, party with those guys for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, you would. Like and Bush I think that's and what his eighty years of sobriety or whatever, I could turn that around in one week. I guarantee you. Who's been sober for eighty years? George Bush, since he got that DUI in the seventies, no supposedly way. has been completely sober. Not one. Per- I would yeah. love to see him drunk. Yeah, yeah. I would like to see him high on coke, like which just, is what he yeah. always used yeah. to do. Yeah, he used Did to he? Blow, yeah. yeah. Oh, he man. was a rich white dude in, yeah. in Texas and in, in the oil industry. Of he course, popped, he, was he popped his collar. Did coke. Fucking great. He was Drank. a bro. He was a frat bro. He was also a male cheerleader. Really? Mm-hmm. Was he really? Yeah. Well, now that how, I've watched, how do you guys cheer. not know this? Do you not go to the George W. Oh, Bush? Oh no, we don't know. Presidential anything. Library. There's a bust of him. We don't. With pomp. That's not true. But he was a male cheerleader. When he was governor, he, was or he, he lived in Austin. Was, yes. And that, that, their state capital is like <laughs> two blocks away from the 6th Street. I'm sure he was going down there, you know, ripping rails, yeah. doing shots, getting I feel, dirty on 6th Street. I feel like he and Laura, that was probably an arranged marriage. Really? Of some sort. Yeah. Because she's like a librarian and a teacher. Yep. And that, I mean, or maybe that's just, I don't know. Maybe he got sick of the party girls and he had to go for like, you know. Yeah, you maybe. never get sick of the party I girls. I call them though. Yeah. You know what you have to do society wise, <laughs> but you never really some get guys sick don't, of them. Some guys don't have the gumption to take care of and be with a party girl. Oh, the gumption, you say? How dare you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the gumption. The, the, the testesinal fortitude. They don't okay. have the what? junk between their legs to take Tiffany, care don't of Don't make a me feel stupid. What do you mean when you say take care of? You mean pay for their drugs or give them. <laughs> no, a, like handle them. Like give like, them a wrap on the back. Oh, the handle them. Yeah. Handle. Like, some them. guys can't handle. That. The truth. Yeah, you yeah. got to choke them, spit on them a little bit. You just gotta, you gotta be able to handle them. Again, you can't let them rise up out of the gutter. <laughs> well, you 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 bring them up, but you let them know that you're the one holding them up over the gutter. Exactly. Yeah. And then you bring them back down. So, Every now and again, you drop them, like, oh, sorry, I lost focus for a minute, just to remind them that you're the one holding them up. Yeah. This is horrifying sociopathic behavior, by wow. the way. Don't. I I'm mean, not, I'm not saying that's right. On the on the day of your birth, Dan, I think it's appropriate. Yep. If not. Expected. Perfect and and, and warranted. Yes. No, yeah. I'm the nicest person of all time. Yeah, if you want to party, you are girl very in your nice, life, actually. Dan. You got to build them up and tear them down. I haven't down. seen it, but I've heard that you are really <laughs> over and over and over again. Did you hear that? What's that? She says uh, she's heard that I'm super nice. I, I never. I, I tell never, you, he's nice. You never. tell me. You tell me. I try to convince again, everyone that you're nice. One, yeah. I have not seen it, one time. seen it one time. Never. I, not I one time. Even at your birthday dinner last night, you were miserable. 
I wouldn't hold oh, my no, breath. He was not. No, I was having a great time actually. Yeah. Okay, good. you were. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I told you. the table over and, and over. I was again. bored Twice. with the sh stupid shit you guys were talking about. That's what so I'm I had to make about. some noise. Yeah. Oh, not not to get your attention, just to fucking calm my brain down a little. Bit. I had nothing to do with you guys. You sure. guys were having fun, and I didn't necessarily want to interrupt that. Well, that I was a sharp knife, knife into the yeah. table. No, it wasn't. It was a butter knife. It was a butter knife. It was a sharp one though. It was one of those butter knives. You guys are so dramatic. No, it was a sharper butter knife. That's on the butter knife scale. That was a nine. Nine drama. Oof. Yeah, <laughs> you guys don't even know a sharp <laughs> knife if it poked you in the eye. Well, yeah, it's yeah, National <laughs> National Frozen Yogurt Day as so, well. So go out and celebrate, Dan. It is National Frozen Yogurt Day. It yeah. is your birthday. Grab yourself some pink berry and a smile. Get yeah. you some gummy worms and, on there, and that's tell somebody gross. to get fucked too. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Oh the, yeah, there's in your a pink, honor. There's a pink berry in the uh, Chicago Midway Airport now. I think. Oh uh, yeah. So if yes. you're flying through the Midwest today, scoop a little bit of that up. Scoop it Actually, up I think there's one in Atlanta too, right? Yeah, drop a scoop for Dan. Yeah. Do you like Pinkberry? Have you ever had that? I don't think I've had Pinkberry. It's, Pink it's like frozen the Greek best. yogurt. I've had the frog it is one. so good. It's I don't know what so that good. one is. They yeah. have a whole line of bullshit that you can add to it, but honestly, I think the yogurt just tastes great. Yeah, I like the plain. Yeah. The, which is oh so god, weird. that's the you were so white. Wow. Look at your fucking face, Jesse. Right. I now. feel like I know. the white part would be. <laughs> I can't take you serious <laughs> with those glasses on. <laughs> I feel like the white person would like the cake batter one or something like that, right? Isn't that like a white thing? Like, That's oh. a Cold Stone Creamery, but I like. No, where your they have at. like a cake one, don't they? Like at, at Frozen Pink Berry place? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Like some know. type of cake. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, yogurt Land has it, which is my That's favorite, by is. the way. I'm yogurt. Uh, I'm you... anti Pink Berry. I'm all Yogurt Land. Why is that? Is it there. political? It is. Are they Pink liberal berries? or something? It shit? is. I don't give a fuck what people's politics are. If your food tastes better, I'm going to eat it. Pinkberry, here's the thing. Pinkberry, you know, they don't charge you by the pound over there. You weigh it out at Yogurt Land, so you choose. It's a, it's a democracy at Yogurt Land. Over at Pinkberry, they're, they're very <laughs> heavy-handed. So if you're watching this on video, that was a Nazi salute. Heavy-handed? <laughs> you mean they control yeah, the good. output? Yes, they control more. everything that's going on behind the counter there. Oh the yeah, whole, they make it for you. Yep. I don't like telling people what I want. Me neither. On it, but. I want to yeah, put my I like. Own shit yeah, on I want to make it. No, myself. I'm I'm the opposite. I am uh, an affluent man. I do not want to do any work on my own. I want somebody to work my jaws as I'm eating. When it comes to toppings on your yes. yogurt, you need no. to do it yourself. Yeah. No, I don't. Be yeah. Because yeah. Like, uh, I don't want anyone like, judging me. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, a level. More. No, see, that's uh, your problem. That's that you're just insecure about your situation there. No, I'm just a normal person, Dan. But yeah, you got to get over that. This is about power. You understand? Well, yeah, and, uh, yeah. I, yeah. They have the power have, over you. you. No, the no. Power. they don't. They have the power over you. you. They don't. They only have the power over you if you subjugate you yourself to their will. You have ultimate power scooping your I'm own the shit. same way more. to your fucking yogurt. I want yogurt. more, please, of that. Can I get more I'm of that, please? I'm the same way with Parmesan cheese at a restaurant. Yeah, but Where, it's like, free, I though. want more than I actually tell them I want, but I don't want them to judge. See, judge? Yeah, because you don't want to be judged. I tell them to stop way before I want them to stop. That's Subway. If you don't get a fucking sandwich at Subway... They'll give you, if you ask for black olives, they'll give you four because yeah. they're expensive and they don't want you to fucking take And I'll be like, no, I, I'll sit like there all goddamn Me day too. and be like, hey, man, I'm going to need another handful. Yeah. yeah. Another handful. Yeah. <laughs> now, when I said handful, I want you to put your whole goddamn hand in there and grab it and then put it on. Don't give me a pinch. A pinch is different than a handful. Yeah. And they're like, "Oh, sir, I." I guess I'm the only loser this. here. So. Wow. Well, well, the the whole point of that is, is that your problem with pink berry is all in your head. You could do the same thing there that you're talking about doing it somewhere. I like to go do behind it the place. Well, you're being a little bitch, no. Ross. That's I like to go to no. Yogurt Land, <laughs> scoop it myself, and look them right in the fucking eye. Hey, I'm having nine pounds of gummy worms, bitch. Yeah, and but you're I'm paying gonna extra fucking, for you're gonna that. Pay for I know. That. I pay extra for the black olives for this guy not to eye fuck me. As soon as I ask for another another pinch, oh, give me another pinch of black olives. No, motherfucker. Just charge me a quarter. Let me go on about my goddamn day. And don't look at me like I'm fucking robbing Italy of all their, their whole black olive population. Who's still going to Subway? I do. If it's there, really? I do. Really? Yes. On the way here? No, Same. because... Actual Subway? Yeah. No, There's you went to which witch? Jersey Mike's. No, Jersey but I'm saying... Mike's. Yeah, but on options. the way here, when I drive, there's like no places besides oh, Subway. Yeah, Subway. sometimes Subway is all you're left with. Okay. All you're left Subway, with. Subway, you can literally find in the middle of fucking nowhere. You will go on an exit. There'll be nothing there besides a Subway and yep. a Dollar General. They use you know, fresh. It's true. They use fresh it. local ingredients, too. Uh, That's well, what they say. Nope. Subway? Nope. No. They don't use anything No, it fresh. all comes in Pretty bags. much the opposite of that. Yeah. Give, it's the same as Panera. Yeah, uh, Panera, Panera's gotten All of our markedly, shit comes in bags. They they've gotten so much worse so over the much. last like, it's five overpriced years. Overpriced hospital food. It's been yeah, the it's, so it's been the same since I worked there. Oh, you, you fucking that? piece of shit! Right. Whoa! Give me some of that broccoli cheddar, baby. Yeah. Come on, yeah. comes in a bag. Right. <laughs> you got the hookup still? Give I mean, me the if whole we go baguette. back, if you go back home to St. Louis, which is oh. where, because that's where it originated. 
in St. Louis. It's yeah. called St. Louis Bread Company there, but it's called Panera oh, everywhere else. Right. Did, ever, did Nelly ever stop by? I wish. <laughs> I tried breaking into his house. <laughs> did you really? <laughs> yeah, it's on our podcast. Were you going to steal, oh, yeah. his, <laughs> steal his band aid collection? He's got like. We put, me and my girlfriend put band aids on our face because she lived in Lake St. Louis near him and we went to his property. We Ooh, got wow. removed. God, we were younger man. in high school. You got removed from the property? Well, they were like, hey, girl. Like, we were young <laughs> hey, girls. girls. You know what I mean? Hey, and they're like, he, first of all, he's not even home. And second of all, you guys are trespassing. We're yeah. like, oh, so like you, no. Don't tell me was, he's not home. Yeah, yeah, come back and break hope? into it. Like a, a the hope was to meet him. Okay. It, it was way beyond expectations. Got but, it, you know, got but we tried. So all you drinking bros out there, I'll give you Ross's address. You show up to his house. <laughs> do the same Wearing a super gay mustache like that right there. And he will probably... Let you in, to yeah. be honest. He'll, He'll let definitely you in. let you in. You. Sure. <laughs> when I say let you in, I, I don't mean to the house. Let you into his butthole? Yeah. Inside of me. Inside yeah. of me. Yeah, you can fuck me in my garage. There's a, there's a uh, well, there's the garage there, and then, you know, you can go through the gate. He's got a fenced-in backyard. Mm -hmm. oh, real nice back there. <laughs> Jesse's um, like, are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> there's, also, there's also, like, a, a covered area like a what do you call that and where they hide their key at? deck under like the rock a, a no deck, yeah. it's all codes so oh no key good it's luck a, it's all biometric so if you see him out in town just fucking cut his thumbs off and uh you can use those and to get in that. you gotta yeah, keep them my thumbs to get in it's my right yeah. yeah you gotta keep them warm obviously yeah i don't this isn't supposed to be a fucking science lesson if you can't figure out how to cut somebody's thumbs off and use it to defeat a biometric lock that's your fucking you're problem. an amateur exactly. <laughs> exactly. Fucking exactly. let's get on with the goddamn show yeah. goddamn right. right let's hop into the news 45 is acquitted <laughs> uh first things first this this stupid fucking impeachment trial is over um, now we get to see the rest of the debacle. Yeah. I uh, just mentioned this a few minutes ago. There was breaking news uh, in the Iowa caucus. The head of the DNC, Mr. Tom Perez, is asking for uh, all the votes to be re-canvassed. I hate the words they use for this shit. Just say you're going to recount it again recount. by hand. The funny thing about this um, is there's still only 97% reported as of we're taping this. It's 3 o'clock on a Thursday. Yep. <clears throat> we have no winner from the Iowa caucus that was on Monday. Um, just to give you a recap of what's happened real quick. Uh, Trump got no witnesses last Friday. We knew the trial was going to be over. Iowa caucus, disaster on Monday. Tuesday, Trump gives a state of a union. Four more years, four more years. Mm -hmm. Nancy Pelosi rips up the speech uh, afterwards, making her look like the biggest child on the planet. Yeah. And basically <clears throat> admitting defeat. Wednesday, he gets acquitted officially. With only one holdout from gimp ass Mitt Romney, um, who decided, oh, I'm going to vote for one and just kind of fuck you because I see, ran for president and lost. Did you see, uh, well, first of all, uh, Eric and Don Jr. posted some pretty funny memes. It was the best. It was the best. Um, the best. Did you see the presidential address this afternoon? No. So we were on air uh, on Ross Patterson Revolution. What happened? Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> Trump was, uh, he just kind of eased into it and started talking about Mike Lee and how difficult he is to work with sometimes because he's usually the lone holdout for a vote mm -hmm. because he's a, essentially a libertarian guy. Like he, if anything, like ask for more power or taxes or anything like that, he usually is the fucking, the guy. Just right. He's that mud. fucking guy yeah. that votes against everything just for that reason. Anyways, um, he kind of slow rolled it into uh, how Mike Lee can be difficult to work with, but we love Mike and he usually has a good reason for what he's doing. Uh, unlike Mitt Romney, the other senator from fucking Utah. <laughs> really? Yeah. He just went like full on right into his Ugh. fucking beanbag. It was really funny. Uh, and he was like, uh, something about like what we know is that Mike Lee's the best senator from Utah, the most yeah. popular oh senator. Oh my God. From Utah. <laughs> yeah. Which is really funny. I love it. Look, we knew this was going to happen. <clears throat> We've said this forever. Um, you know, the the whole back and forth with Pelosi and all this other shit. That, that missed so handshake thing. I, yeah. If you look at it from the side view, I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it because we kind of talked about it the other day. Yeah. I, he turned around so quickly. I don't know if he saw it. Yeah. And honestly, I think that if he did catch it in the peripheral vision, right, he wasn't, his ass wasn't going to turn back Fuck around no. and shake her no. fucking hand. I don't no. think he would have anyway. Is it normal? Yeah. I, I don't remember from previous states of the union. Uh, is it normal for the president to shake the speaker's hand and the vice president's I, hand? It is. And I'll tell, is it? Because yeah, I don't think I've seen that. Because usually well, he hands them both a copy of the speech and then turns around and does the fucking speech. Well, here's why right. I think well, he normally, did this on purpose because the speaker of the house is supposed to say and now uh, the, the honorable, honorable uh president of the united states blah 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 and she didn't she didn't say that on the way in and he probably took that as a snub and was just like cool man you tried to impeach me too i'm not shaking your fucking hand i mean i wouldn't I, have either to be honest with you a now, bit childish but i don't blame him but ripping up the speech <clears throat> in the background after the week you've had 
Especially with the Iowa caucus. Well, did you and see how she just even acted the whole time just, during? It's, it's she was like a fucking child back petulant. there, throwing a tantrum yeah. the entire time. It was like she, she was studying that speech like it was a fucking menu at the Cheesecake Factory. And yeah, it's like I know there's a lot of options on there, and they're never ending. And so is this speech. And you're gonna have to sit there and shut the fuck up for an hour and a half and listen while this guy that you despise, who just beats you into the ground. Uh, over the be week, pro- be it, a professional. Yeah, well, I mean, be I, fucking professional. I, you can. It's easy to say that, but if the 40, you're on if, fucking goddamn television, know, for God's sake, you're on. If, like, you know what you I mean? If the 49ers had to go attend the Chiefs fucking victory parade yesterday, they probably wouldn't have been in the best mood, right? Yeah, but that's but different. That's like, very this different. Is politics. You're supposed to be there. It you're the speaker different. of the you're house. A, how, yeah, the speaker it's of the house. That you're that's representing how the entire it is now, though. Yeah, it's like country. Yeah, yeah. It really. Is all, Luckily, the the speech part uh, for Trump was just another huge victory. And again, I, I, don't, I don't really have to say this for regular listeners of the show. I'm not a Trump fan necessarily. I like some stuff he does, but uh, this past week has been pretty good. Last <laughs> week, like I don't, I don't like see. You got to admit, his approval right? ratings are through the roof. Yeah, the stock his, market's through the roof. His his approval rating is almost as high as his disapproval rating now. Which is like it's one point. It's forty nine fifty. It's higher than Obama was at the exact same yeah. point in his yeah. term uh, during his <clears throat> first term. But uh, if you're looking ahead at this, right? Yep. Now that they're going to re canvas this fucking vote mm-hmm. and hand recount that, you're not going to get official results till next week. More than likely, the New Hampshire primary will have already happened. Well, luckily for for Cheat and Pete, uh, he's already received the boon from. Uh, a, an alleged win, yeah, or or p- potential self proclaimed. Well, I mean, he was up, he was right, so I don't know where he got that information. From. Well, Maybe as of as of polling. today, so an hour ago, when we when we were on Aaron Ross Patterson Revolution, ninety ninety seven percent had been reported. It is now down to one tenth of a point. Yeah, it's twenty six point one to twenty six point two. So, which means uh, I don't know what Iowa's caucus rules are, but the DNC guy there, he may not just be. Uh, acting like a dick, they may have a rule that requires a manual recount when it's that close. I don't know. They did not. Um, so he is calling for it specifically, and he, they held a press conference about an hour well, ago. Well, they can do what they want, so that's yeah, what's going to happen. You're right. It's their party, and they can do whatever <clears throat> the they want. The reason, by the way, this has taken so long is that some of the precincts had to like physically mail in their, sh- their shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and the other, How big is Iowa? Drive, bitch. Like it can't take more than yeah. four or five hours to drive anywhere in Iowa, right? I don't yeah, know. It's crazy. It's not, Actually, it's not Texas. I uh, mean, they had coverage from every place, right? Yeah. And we watched that, so it's like, as far as Pete saying that he won, like it would just be simple math if you were paying attention. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, there's eighteen hundred like, some precincts, so he they would like that would require a big team to monitor all that, but. Maybe you're right. Maybe there was some kind I'm of just saying, I monitoring mean, going on like that in the meantime. Yeah, I mean, if you're really paying attention <laughs> to whether you're going to get it, the, by the end, you have an idea. Yeah. The, the you're not going to have an exact you would percentage. Think so. I mean, it's exit polling. That's essentially what it is. It's yeah. the same methodology. What are the, you the wild part about it is uh, it actually helped Bernie Sanders. He raised $25 million. It helped him with money. Hours. Wow. It helped him with money. Yes. But it did not help him with prestige or New Hampshire. Correct. Specifically. But to get through what, what he's about to go through in the gauntlet, especially Super Tuesday, you're going to need a boatload of money. Right now, yeah. Biden doesn't have any, and Sanders does. So yeah. it you only don't think fired he up the has Sanders New base. Hampshire locked up? Yes, Sanders has New he, Hampshire on lock. He has it locked up, yes, okay. but not like he has before. Got so it. in 2016, he received 60% of the vote in New Hampshire. Right now he's polling at, let's see, 31% with Pete Buttigieg at 21%. That mm. is way closer oh, than anything has ever been with Bernie yeah, yeah, Sanders yeah. and New Hampshire ever. Okay. That is his... You know, it's right next, next, to door, next yeah. door home state. Like, literally in 2016, with that competitive field, if you want to call it competitive, but there were some candidates there with some big name people Biden, Clinton, and all these people. Uh, uh, actually, Biden, Hillary. Biden wasn't running, was he? No. Hillary, right? No, it's Hillary. Uh, Hillary Clinton, yeah. Mm-hmm. And him, but there were like, at that point, there were still 12 other candidates, I think, that were on the ballot. Yeah. So there were a lot of people involved, and he won 60% of that vote. This year, it's cut in half already. Yeah. And uh, it's trending downward. We'll see what happens the rest of this week. If news comes out today or tomorrow that uh, Cheat and Pete won in Iowa, mm-hmm. you could you can expect that to go up to like twenty four percent and and maybe bring Bernie down below thirty, which would be really interesting because uh, Buttigieg is a young candidate. So what is he thirty eight or some shit? Yeah, he's thirty eight. Um, I don't know if he's got the team it takes at this point to raise money like Sanders does or like Biden could, if he wasn't, you know, hapless yeah. like Clinton could before. And like a lot of major candidates can, but if you win New Hampshire, 
if you win Iowa, if you win those first two, every one of these fucking finance dicks at the DNC are going to come start sucking your dick because we all know they don't want Bernie Sanders in there. The DNC, that's the last thing they want. I think they would rather have four more years of Trump and then come out with a fucking sta- yeah. stock standard Democrat that's true. in 2024 than, than have Bernie Sanders elected. So you can expect if he wins this or even comes close in New Hampshire, uh, I don't think he'll win, but if he comes close, if he competes like he's competing now in the polling, there's a very good chance a lot of these fucking other candidates are going to start losing staff members who are going to come over to Pete Buttigieg's campaign, and he's going to start raising money like a motherfucker. Uh, Let me ask you this. Um, Hillary Clinton last week um, came out and said she has the urge to run again (laughs) because she thinks she can win this. Does she also have the need for speed? Uh, she might at that top uh, gun too. Like, how fast can you run in a pantsuit like that when you're 70 years old? She is not built for speed. She That's doesn't true. run. She's James. built for comfort. Sure. Ooh, for another woman. Who's comfort? <laughs> another woman. Built to uh, comfort. Scissor sister, probably. <laughs> um, <clears throat> she said, "This is a quote. Um, I could beat Donald Trump if I were running. Yes, like I last certainly year? feel the urge yeah. because of the 2016 election was a really odd time and a really odd outcome." I would love for her to run. Was again it an odd time and an odd outcome? Again, because again, yeah, that like that is time. that is not reading the tea leaves. Like, first of all, they fucked up all their polling back then, and they didn't target the right states. So it wasn't an odd time. You fucking lost because you sucked at mm-hmm. campaigning, dumb dumb. I'm sure it was an odd time for you because you think you should win everything. Yeah. But they whipped out it every wasn't an odd time oh, yeah. for anything. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, for That's sure. And now, now it's like Trump is more popular now than he was pre-election 2016. Then, yeah. so good and he just won now. like pretty much every major victory you can win. Plus, the most important thing in any presidential election is the state of the economy. I don't give a fuck about any of these other issues. It's either you can't fight against no the state of the economy. It's either a war. Right now. There's either a war going on and and people like stability through a war, mm-hmm. or it's the economy. This dude's getting reelected. Period. Because we see the lo- lowest unemployment, yeah. our lowest new jobless claims in 50 years. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty for, much for all. For every she wrote. race, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. So what yeah. are you gonna do? Uh, uh, Ameri- ex- I can say what you're going to do. Americans have the highest economic confidence since 2000, which yep. was the dot com boom. It was, yeah. Uh, it's like, sorry, low low income workers, which are I think is defined as anybody that makes under thirty thousand a year. Their wages are up sixteen percent. So it's like, what's your argument exactly? You don't want to you like when you if you you're out want there more ca- success for the country. Yeah, if you're out there <laughs> campaigning, if you're Pete Buttigieg or Bernie Sanders. You're saying like, well, we want more social program. We want better health care, which I'm, I'm, I want that too, obviously. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't want health insurance. I want health care. Those two, two very different things. And we've been talking about health insurance since Hillary brought it up in 94. And we continue talking about it. And now the insurance companies, like Dennis Miller does a great bet on this. And he did it in the early 2000s. This is how long this shit's been going on. But he says, we have 100% of the money we want to spend on health care. And for some reason, we give 20% of it to this company for administrative fees and they don't actually give us anything. They just kind of hold the money, Mm -hmm. but what they're not providing any medical services. They're just kind of hanging out making money. Yeah. So what the fuck? Well, it's like it's, it's, it's nonsense. Take all the money and make healthcare. I don't give a fuck about insurance. The fuck does that mean? Yeah. What they're doing is just taking the interest off that 20% and letting it. Yes. uh, Yeah. It's bullshit. At any rate, uh, the economy is like crazy right now. So they're, they're going to have to argue those points. Like we want, a different healthcare system, which he, they would be arguing against the healthcare system that they voted in in 2009. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh, that's not exactly a fucking steady leg to stand on. So what else is there? Warmongering. He's a, he's a mean guy. They're fucked. Yeah. I think Trump might win like 53, 54% of the vote this year. I, that's what I think. That's yeah. what I think. Um, with that extra money in the economy, go, go and get yourself a ghost bed from ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. You deserve to sleep in comfort. You deserve to sleep like a little tiny king. And right now, this is, there's no better time in American history than the deals they're offering at Ghost Bed. 25% off everything in the entire store. Adjustable bases, pillows, mattresses, everything at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. And with the 36-month pay-as-you-go program, no interest. That still applies. It's still applicable to the uh, the discounts. So, yes, when you pull that discount up in the store, when you check out, you can also pay as you go. No interest. Three years. Knocks that shit down to like 20-something dollars, dude. You can, you can sleep like fucking Trump does. <laughs> it's real comfortable. Take a little bit of that extra money in your pockets uh, that your employer's giving you and get yourself a mattress. 
You've earned it. You fucking earned it, you son of a bitch. You earned it. Uh, next up, Florida man arrested. Well, that's not a surprise. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. The Santa Rosa K-9 deputies recently assisted the FHP on a traffic stop on I-10 where a large amount of uh, narcotics were discovered. Um, and uh, <laughs> in the bag, it just said bag full of drugs. Which literally, this was uh, one of Jesse's. I was. This was my crime corner. This is your crime corner today. Um, oh, it was the same case. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. Was and it? Well, you can't top this guy. I mean, you, you can't oh. top it. But well, because I always say hiding in plain sight, right? Like I think that's the best way it's to the do best it. Way. No, this didn't really work out no, it that did not way. Work he out. labeled the bag. Bag, bag full, full of drugs. drugs. Well, no, it's a, like, it's, like a, it's like it's like a, it's like a joke bag. It's right? a novelty bag yeah. that you can buy. It's a zip up tote, basically, but still. right? Yeah. I want to see it's a great. picture of the dude. Like, I couldn't of course find. So it's gonna look I couldn't I know, find I couldn't a picture find... of the dude because look, you have to realize who you are in this world. Yeah. If you're a Florida man, you know what I mean by that. Yeah. You sure. can't walk around with a bag that says "bag full of drugs," no matter what's inside of it. No. Yeah. No. These bags are made for like makeup. White women. Yep. Millennials, yeah, that, are, that have a that sense think it's of hilarious. irony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's they can take it out. It's like the little coin purse. Guys, or, oh guys. my god, I have. Yeah, guys, look. did you see? Yeah. Where I put my vitamins? Here's a <laughs> my toothbrush in here. Here's a list. Can you believe? The, here's a list of the shit this guy had. That was great. Seventy-five grams of methamphetamine. Yeah, a lot wow. of methamphetamine. Uh, one point three six kilograms. Of GHB. That's not a lot, by that the way. That is the date rape drug. That is quite is, a bit. Yes. That's ah. that's about four pounds <laughs> of uh, of GHB, which if is you're, if you're partying on Saturday. Brother. He only had one gram of uh, uh, one kilogram is two point two pounds. So two point two times one point three six. That's how yeah. many pounds it is. I would Typical, say it's probably here's why I say a little bit. Typically, you make it in a bathtub. By the way, GHB. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not that I know yeah, anything about it. But this amount of powder GHB, you could make like pretty much an endless supply. Of uh, yeah, but you live in you live in liquid Florida. stuff. It's better than drinking the water there. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, really? yeah. So in addition to that, he had one that one water. gram of cocaine, which is I mean that's personal use. Uh, that's not it. That's not even enough for no one night really. For a Saturday in my uh, luckily, he had three point six grams of fentanyl, there which go. will murder you. Yeah, yeah. wow. <laughs> There's no reason for fentanyl and to be anyone anywhere. Anyone that yeah. takes it, no. Anywhere. Dude. No, unless a doctor is giving it to you, you should never touch that and stuff even ever. Then. Even then, man, you yeah. might as well just end your life. Just that's, get some yeah. morphine, call yeah. it a day. Um, 15 uh, MDMA tabs. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. Um, and then some drug paraphernalia. So he, <laughs> I have been detained by police wearing a shirt that says, do not arrest this person before, but I was not wanted for anything. That's right, funny. and you didn't have a shit a ton joke. of drugs on you. No, and they, well, I had a little bit, but not a, not, a not enough that would raise suspicion. I was fishing at the time, and they were just like, "Hey, you can't, uh, you can't fish here. It's there's something. There was something going on. I don't remember what it was. They're like, hey, you guys got to fucking move it down a little bit. So we just walked down the street. But they took a picture with me next to their cruiser. I was I like, oh, they liked your funny. shirt, and I my my picture was in the police department on their fucking bulletin board for a while see that's what i think about when i see this is how <laughs> much fun the police officers are having with had it. with it after like mm. taking the evidence photos yeah. like, Shit, are you like fucking kidding i me? like thinking about that like yeah. brightens their day a little bit like <laughs> this fucking asshole we, right we cruised upon this dude in iraq one time and he ended up not being uh anything he was just some dickhole uh but he had this whole room in his house dedicated to Bruce Lee. Oh my gosh. I it was love the that. weirdest shit I've ever seen. There was like a fucking uh, heavy bag hanging from the ceiling. This Perfect. is fucking Baghdad. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Heavy bag hanging from the ceiling. Walls are covered in Bruce Lee shit. Yeah. And a fucking like really nice fighting mats on the floor. I'm like, huh? where did you get any of this shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and fucking Baghdad. They love random. Oh, yeah stars over there like uae yeah. they love david hasselhoff well germany as well wow, wow. they like norm mcdonald they, told you guys us watch that. Baywatch? Like, yeah. and they're like just they like just all got it him. yeah, yeah. it's, it's like a too. new show it's funny <laughs> yeah. it's funny doing raids and then discover i'm sure your husband's got some stories about this too doing raids and then uh discovering weird shit there like mm -hmm. because it gets tedious you do the same stuff over and over sure. you kick the door down fucking sure. smack up some people around zip cuff some people collect some evidence and get the fuck out uh, over and over and over again, and then you stumble upon some guy that has some like, weird shit in his house. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, like a Peloton bike with a fucking dildo coming out of the seat or something like that. Not yeah, that I've ever I seen like one that. of those, but I guarantee I like you, it. they exist. Yeah. They exist. When we were in, uh, I was in France with Kevin Sorbo in uh, 2011 or 2012, 
And everywhere we went, the hottest women in France were just fucking throwing themselves. Yeah, he's fucking Hercules, bro. And I was, he was Hercules in the 90s. And I go, man, what the fuck is going on, dude? Yeah. And he goes, uh, oh, (laughs) they're just getting Hercules for the first time. It's called syndication. And And he goes, it's on every single night. International syndication, brother. Yes. So I went back to the hotel. Good stuff. It was on every night at 11, and it was, I mean, dude, women were, it was crazy. And I was like, good for him. Now just getting this 20 years He later, gets like a second wave. It's the best. Right? It's the best. That's smart to do that in every country. So if we just go to it release, you know, different years in every country so he can just keep yeah. moving and have women to Ooh. swoon over Just him. figure out what the fucking the cycle is. Life. Yeah. And just move yeah. to exactly. Yeah, that's what I would do. With kids, I'll say, but uh, you could do it was that. a weird thing to see. You could do that with a new guy. You could, like, just go to new... Uh, new you countries. could. I got out of an arrest in. Uh, you in could France. literally go back yes. to the new guy. Uh, exactly. <laughs> uh, Sarah Williams. We're still getting that. We're getting that trophy made for her. Oh yeah, Sarah life. Williams, worst, worst fan, fan ever of all time. Um, she was the one who's go back to the go new back guy. to the new guy. I, I didn't okay. Call LSU in the national championship. I will. Um, but <laughs> I got out of, out of an arrest that same trip. Um, cocaine all over the dash. Uh, gypsy cab driver crashed into a fucking wall, and uh, I thought I was going to prison. And one of the officers was like. Are you from the, the yes, really? in France? Um, we said midget tossing. He kept saying midget, midget tossing, midget tossing. I saw the officer speaking. I was cuffed. Yeah. Um, I got in a gypsy cab. They tell you not to, but it was like every cab there is a fucking Mercedes or whatever it was in Cannes. And I was just like, I didn't know. I don't know what that means, gypsy cab, because I've never been to France. Well, hey, look, this geez. is not the time to air your fucking marital problems. <laughs> it is not. Jesse. Oh, it's it's when, did you, when did you go? Was it summer? Oh, you must. <laughs> <laughs> Spring you really time. must go. Spring and don't get in, in the France. gypsy cab. Just a little tip for you. Well, homeboy crashed <laughs> into the median of going 65 miles an hour. We're going to go I, someday. I, I broke my, we are. broke my arm. And, uh, it's okay. We're going to go without you. Coke all over the dash. <laughs> liquor everywhere. Who's Coke and he was ran it? up the side. Of, it yeah, was exactly. His, and he was asking me to do it with him. Mm. And he was like just blaring Peer Biggie. Pressure. It did, just got did Biggie. You, like, did, did you do, do any it? of the Coke? I didn't. It was 6.30 in the mm. morning. It's, it's too much. Like I was, was finishing that too late the night. For you? And that stopped yeah, you? Yeah, I was finished, trying to finish my night. Mm. He, this guy was clearly trying to keep his night going. Yeah, clearly. And the <clears> cops were like, <clears> they kept pointing as I was coughed on this car because they thought the Coke was mine. The guy ran up into the woods and uh, they were like midget tossing and they kept saying that over and over. And I was like, what is that? Um, and, and it was like the, the movie. Were you the guy from the movie? And I was like, yeah, I'm the guy from the back yeah, of the movie. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Goes, Get me out of I love that movie. And they uncuffed me or whatever. But I don't speak French. Uh, yeah. And I'm stuck there. There's coke all over the dash. I'm in a bash car in the middle of a highway. Like, it was fucking crazy. Uh, so God bless those countries who are now just getting American entertainment. Mm. <laughs> uh, next up, we got an Ohio man who receives 55,000 copies of the same letter. Dan Kane of Twinsburg, Ohio. Mm. I uh, was expecting a letter, so he traveled to his local post office. Upon arriving, he received 79 <clears throat> bins of mail, each containing 700 copies of the same exact letter. Ugh. Of course, the letter was from a of course student's it was. Can you loan imagine? company. Of course it you fucking could, was. Here, there's a, I don't remember who told me this joke or where I heard it from back in the day, but somebody said if we really wanted to catch Ben Laden, we would just have give them some student loans and let yeah. them find them. <laughs> right? <laughs> Serious. They would. Because they will fucking no find shit, your ass. Until the end of yeah. time, yeah. they will find you. You've and got student loans. Jesse. Until Bernie gets elected and then I he'll do. wipe out all student loan debt. Oh, I'd hate getting emails and letters from my student loans. I was so happy once I paid it off. I, I owe Penn State, like, I think it's like $46 or something, and I just won't pay it. Love it. <laughs> I love it. Fuck you, and I won't let them. Fuck you. They, they keep sending me letters like, oh, it's going to go to collections. I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll take care of it. And they're like, okay, we'll take out the list. I just keep yeah. doing that over and over. <laughs> over. It's been, hey, oh. thanks. I'll I, take care I graduated of it. in 2016. And it's been going on this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And it's the Army paid for all of it. There was just some administrative fee, and I'm just like, yeah, well, okay, uh, I'll get to it. They can, It's Penn State. They've got 80,000 fucking people they're there. They're good. They're fine. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't need my $46. Ah, I need my $46. Yeah, you need that. Of course. As a matter of fact, I should start a tradition where I go spend $46 on something once a year and then send them a picture of me doing it. <laughs> it's like, like, like I'm sorry, I spent that $46, $46 bucks on this. Are they, ma- sure are they mailing do- you this snail mail yeah. too? So by the time they actually mail you enough stuff, it probably costs them 40, the 40, whatever, $6 yeah. well, anyway. That's, exactly. that's an interesting part of this story. So they did, uh, whomever wrote the, I think it was CNN, wrote the article did the math on what it costs to send bulk letters like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it would have cost these people $11,000. That's ridiculous. But they all showed up at the same time. So it was the glitch on their side or they fucked up. Not, not only was 
it's sending Ugh. multiple ones, but none of the information, like the amount owed on all of them, were all wrong. Was it? So this, the system freaked out and sent this dude fifty thousand letters. Oh oh, Same God. world, brother. Same world. You know, Sim world. I would have marked return to sender on all of them just to double yeah. up that postage yes. fee. Oh, 22000 and be like, hey, you can take oh. that out of my fucking loan. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> like that. I like that. Um, next up, we got KillCliffCBD.com as our next sponsor on the board. Are you you're drinking right now? I'm drinking the energy drink. Yeah, at you are. Night. The pre-workout. Pre-workouts. You working out today? Nope. On your birthday? No, I don't work out no. on any days. Surprise, you're not boozing right now. Uh, it's, you know, cruising for a boozing. He did last night. Yeah, look, if you're trying to shake off a hangover, nothing better than KillCliffCBD.com. <clears throat> 25 milligrams of CBD in each can with a name that you can trust. Not like it's coming from Asia or in some brown bottle that tastes like shit. This is KillCliffCBD.com. They've got grape, orange, kush, mango. We buy the shit out of this. Dude, I was at my parents' house yesterday, and they had a fucking case of it there. Really? Uh, yes, they're drinking it too, man. Everybody's drinking this shit. I drink a can before I go to bed every single night. I love it. Grape is my <clears> favorite. Uh, go to KillCliffCBD.com. Uh, you get 20% off a case with the promo code Drinking Bros and free shipping. Ship that shit right to your house, dude. Then you're ready to rock. Uh, ship that shit. Yeah, they'll still ship it to every state too. So uh, go fuck yourself and unwind for a little bit. That's great for <laughs> strangulating. Relax and lay your dick out. Yeah. Pour a little CBD on that. Put a little CBD on that ding dong of yours. I you mean, look. You won't test positive for anything. No, what if, is if with you, you guys and putting this shit in your genitalia? No, no, no. Here's what you do. It's victory. It's not. Mm. Well, to me, it's like absorption rate. It's The skin's really sensitive and thin down there, which means it probably has a high absorption rate. Yep. Same with your butthole, et cetera. So, so what why I do you do, say butthole then? Because that's a lot of work. So here's what I do. I'll tell you this is <laughs> how easy it is. I bought myself a really fancy bathtub for a dollhouse. Super fancy. Right, mm-hmm. it's like the one that has like like the bathtub that has legs oh, on I know and it. shit. Clawfoot, yes. clawfoot, yes, yeah. very fancy. So then I pour an entire. Well, I pour about half of one of these in there, and then lay my dick and balls in it. Yep, and then pour the other half in over time. Okay, and ah. it's. I got to tell you, man, uh, I never feel better. Yeah. You know that if you dip your <laughs> balls in soy sauce, you can actually taste it in your mouth. The uh, saltiness of it. That? Okay. That is fucking scientist. Well, that's exactly what you're saying. I'm you fucking doing... said that if you do it, I think in some type of lemon juice or soy sauce, you can actually taste it. And it was a thing on TikTok for the longest time of guys dipping their junk in fucking soy sauce. And, going, and it worked? Oh my God, I could taste it. They said it did. I'm I mean, I'm not a dude, so I can't kind fucking of the power confirm of suggestion it. Yeah. as well, right? So I would suggest maybe when you guys go home today to yeah. dip your fucking nut sack in a thing of fucking soy sauce and well, see how it tastes. Restaurant, the sushi I, I don't know. Tonight. We'll see. Yeah, maybe at the sushi restaurant. I don't know if I want to do it at home just because I, I you need a spotter for something like that. Oh my God. If you have high you sodium already, you're going to be absorbing so much sodium. Oof, yeah. Right into your bean bag. out. Yeah. And right imagine. Right in the bag. If you, you might seize out. Yeah, but if you get somebody pregnant right Those afterwards, the kid's going to have hypertension. You don't need that. Oh. Nah. Um, however, I do want yep. every single male drinking bro to try this and write us in the results. Listen, please. in 2013, there's and a study that found that Dan. mice Ooh. can taste yeah. with their testicles has resurfaced now online. So there's a big social media buzz doing it that basically if you dip your genitals in soy sauce, you can taste it. I'm going to try it probably, honestly. I'm not going to You lie. know you're going to. Supposedly. Yeah, so try it. I the answer now. Well, it's like... I, I really want to, but it's a matter for me. It's always about motivation. Orange like, juice am I going to be able to motivate myself sauce. to do it? Orange juice uh. or soy sauce. You take your pick. I mean, maybe I'll be able to huh. taste the orange. You want orange a little bit of tangy? Coat. You want a little bit of salty? I wonder if I'll be able to taste the orange CBD. Maybe. <laughs> Try that. Try oh, out. there you go. Try it out. I don't know. Go to Kill Cliff, Kill Cliff, CBD.com, promo code Drinking Bros, 20%. That whole off. thing was fun just now. Free shipping, wasn't it? Gosh, I had a Why don't you dip your boobs in soy sauce? Hey, and tell hey, you you the hey I'll, okay. listen. <laughs> huh? for, for, for science. For science. Same. For can science. I'll dip a nip. Pour, I'll dip a nip. Can you that up? Yeah, here's what, you, here's what you should soy do. Sauce. Pour, pour soy sauce in a tampon and shove it up your ass, right? Well, no, that's obvious, though. Pour it in a condom. Over your ass? Then put the condom over your titty. Ah. Uh, that's. I might have to look it up, but I don't think the titty is going to be the same. Two looking fucking titties? Like, what the fuck? No, but condoms are pretty. They can stretch out. You can dip it in a bowl. Yeah, you can. Like, you could, like you could plank. It there. You could plank over the same. Yeah. Fancy cloth dip foot. In a bowl. Or we'll make it fine tongue. and just have the hubs put it in his mouth and then suck on the titty. That works there too. You go. Yeah. That might be distracting. Be distracting but if you, as long yeah. as you get the same result, it doesn't really matter. It's, yeah. Same blah, 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 blah. Yeah. 
Um, well, that's not what like that's that. not what tit, tits don't. You don't do yeah. this on tits. <laughs> you don't different? go okay. like that. Well, thought I'd check. Uh, <laughs> next up, Amazon continues not to pay taxes. In 2018, Amazon made 11 billion dollars in profit and paid it zero in federal income How tax. How is that possible? This year, after filing their 10K, we see that Amazon only paid 162 million on 13 billion in profits, uh, an effective tax rate of 1.2%. Now look, I'm not a fan of lower taxes, but when I look at my returns and see how much I'm spending and look at a company like Amazon that's so massive yeah. uh, and see that they were <laughs> just deferring $914 million in federal income tax, a little worked up, a little worked up over it. Their stock was through the roof, by the way. It is, week. yeah. Yeah. Uh, gained. But only about 48% of Americans are invested in the stock market. So when the stock market <laughs> is not a great measure of how well the economy is doing necessarily. It's how well the top 20% of the economy is It is, is not, doing. but I will say this. A about. lot of people have money in 401ks out there. And usually, typically, it's in an index fund. So Mixed if the mutual, market's doing yeah, well, like that, yeah. it, it helps out. That's for retirement, though. That's not current economy because you don't like unless you're borrowing money out of those things which you should no, be. but you shouldn't but <clears throat> you know if you're looking at it for the long term mm -hmm. or you're about to retire it's a big deal um how they're able to get away with this is i mean ge did it and uh crazy i mean they all do it and facebook, 20, facebook well, does it too it was a big deal Apple. yeah facebook for sure so all the all those tech companies and uh large companies that are based in uh california there's a moratorium there in the state on new corporate uh, uh, land holding taxes, right? So Facebook on their giant campus, they don't pay any taxes on any of that shit. Right. Uh, GE in 2013 profited $13 billion, zero dollars in federal income tax. It's not the first time. It keeps happening. Yeah. Now, I don't know about you guys, uh, but at, at our level now, we probably pay an effective tax rate of somewhere between 22 and 30%, 25 mm -hmm. and 30 maybe. And this asshole pays, yeah, because this massive company pays 1.2%. Mm -hmm. This is why people... I get it, you liber libertarians and Republicans out there, you don't want to pay high taxes because you know there's a lot of waste in government. I absolutely agree with that 100%. Mm -hmm. But we are in the system we're in. This is reality. And if the reality is I pay more taxes or Amazon pays more taxes, Amazon can get fucked. This isn't taxes they're paying on earned revenue. It's taxes on profits. Right. You know what I mean? Fuck off, Amazon. Pay your taxes. And the Trump tax cuts were supposed to fix this to a large degree. They were supposed to close a lot of these loopholes. But deferred tax loopholes were not closed. So now these companies are just going to start rolling shit over. Pretty well, they're going to have so much control that we're going to be in the dystopian society where they're basically the government. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't matter anyways. Uh, wait. Which is kind <clears throat> of what it is, right? Like they have so much power that. Is Amazon's going to have credit cards. Apple does right now. Yeah. Amazon they're gonna have a is, bank. is in route to They'll that. Have I know bank. Facebook. They're working on cryptocurrencies. Both Facebook of them are is too. working on crypto. Yeah, so um, is Amazon. Currencies, so. so we're all going to be ruled by either by Amazon. By these three companies. Google. You can throw Google in there, yeah. and uh, uh, we're pretty much done for. So Apple, yeah, I've kind of just, just opened yeah, up my Apple. butthole and let everything see. It's in. weird. the The thing that's weird to me is like, yeah, we can have a conversation about this and and ultimately say, well, what the fuck are we gonna do about it? But there are people that are middle class and lower middle class that are out there arguing in favor of these giant corporate tax cuts. Like it's it's a job creating thing. Well, is it? Like, it, how does that work? If you're not paying federal income tax, then the point of the job, the point of the job helping the economy is twofold. One, it's federal income tax, right? More jobs equals more federal income tax mm -hmm. and less unemployment insurance going out. Plus, it's that person having more money to spend in the economy. It's those two things. Right. So you take one of those off the table because these motherfuckers aren't paying taxes. So you're getting half of the benefit of that. So don't come to me saying we support blindly corporate tax cuts because this is what you get. It's bullshit. Yeah. Fuck off. Well, it's been going on for 100 years, and it's going to continue on. Oh, yeah. I'm not surprised by this. Yeah. I, the, actually, the one <clears> thing I am surprised that they actually paid any money at all. Yeah, this time they kind of well, had yeah. to. It would have been bad PR to go zero two years in a row probably, Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But there are some big companies out there that haven't paid federal income tax in years. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you pay it. I pay it. Our company pays it. Mm -hmm. Every single one of our shows independently pays it. Yeah, here <laughs> so we are. what the fuck. Uh, this... Do your part a little bit. Yeah, do like, your part. Yeah. Do your part. Um, bitches. Bitches. Bitches get riches, man, is what they do. Is that right? Um, I don't know. I just made that up. It's off the cuff. Probably workshop that a little bit. You know? What do you think? I Chelsea? would. Yeah. 
Oh, that was a, a firm. I would, yeah. You know, I always want you to go back. I double work. down on what Jesse said. <laughs> yeah. Workshop it. Yeah, workshop. You always it. wanted Bring him back to go. To the I table. thought you were going to say you always wanted to go back to the new guy. To be honest, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, exactly. Sarah missed Williams. opportunity. Sarah Williams, we're getting that trophy made for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe it's going to be silver, like the watch I'm wearing from VinceroWatches.com. No fair. Look at this. Uh, v i n c e r o Watches.com. Vincero. Is our new sponsor. Wow. We're proud to be. Uh, look I at like that. this one. Dan's I like this one a lot. I know. A lot, a lot. I love dude. the uh, adjustable band I have too. Taste. Yeah. Is that a matte leather? Uh, no, it's not. It's not it's leather a, at all. It's, is that it's rose a, gold? It's a vul- yeah, it is rose gold, and it's a vulcanized rubber. It's really fucking nice. Oh, let me see that. Fuck you. Uh, wow. I need to get this for over. Chris. I know. Because he would love that band, yeah. and I actually really it's like that color because I think you can put that with anything. Yo, that's That's a thick. God damn it. Man. It's thick like me. Uh, and the, look, Two the, C's. And it's heavy. Um, these watches oh, wow. are great. They're <laughs> affordable. <laughs> affordable <just> watches, <laughs> man, that are fucking super expensive. I'll just take this and, uh, and I'll be good. I'm yeah. Joking. Look, they're, they're <laughs> super expensive looking. And, Those are uh, awesome. Weight and everything, but they're affordable. Yeah. Um, you don't have to fucking break the bank Dude. to have a, an unbelievably handcrafted watch. Yeah. Right now, you know, since we've partnered with them, they're offering a 15% off discount code. Just use the promo code DRINKINGBROS at VinceroWatches.com. I got the blue steel. What was the name of yours? Um, you know what? I'd have to look again. I don't remember. That was nice. That's a but it's a super That's nice. like, it's, it's rose gold with a black vulcanized rubber band. It, it's damn it. And this one's like l- luxury. Oh, this is fucking awesome. This is like a goddamn Breitling. Um, it's nice as shit, dude. And again, 15% off with the promo code and free shipping. On the watches too, by the way. Nice. Uh, with the with the promo code Drinking Bros at VinceroWatches.com. V I N C E R O Watches.com. That vulcanized rubber ones. That's great for fucking working out. I didn't even think about that. It's like you don't ever have to take it off for anything. No. That's um, that's what I like about a watch. Like I don't. There's enough stuff to do. You come inside, you take your shoes the last off, thing you want to do is fucking take blah blah blah. Yeah, it's exactly. always a fucking process. If you have children or fucking pets that you're taking out all the time yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah. the fuck. Anything you can remove from your life that's superfluous, I try to do that. Exactly. Like, I quit everything. Look, Showering? Go look at the reviews, man. They're through the roof. Uh, 20,000 five-star reviews. Uh, they're fucking amazing. Um, they're new to the, the, the show, and hopefully they'll be with us for a very long time because we fucking love their watches. Those are nice. So go to VinceroWatches.com today. Promo code DRINKINGBROS, 15% off. Next up, the Sanctuary States. Whew, I, I didn't know we've moved from city to states on this. I, oh, yeah. I didn't know until well, yeah. I was watching the State of the Union the other day. Um, yeah. Homeland Security has stopped offering global entry and other trusted traveler programs to New York residents. Explain this to the people. Today. So this means that uh, moving forward, if, you're, if your primary residence is in New York, the state of New York, you mm-hmm. can't do global entry, clear, TSA pre, none of that shit. Oh, really? shit. Really? Yep. But, and the reason what? is because Fuck. these programs are meant to background check people and then give them uh, a less scrutinized way to travel. Right. right? Mm-hmm. But if you're not going to uh, report, like, th- there's, there's, oh my God, it's so fucking stupid. I, I worked at Homeland Security and Immigration in San Francisco in the Ninth Circuit, right? And it was a complete, it was madness because that's a sanctuary city. Sure. So uh, there's something called a detainer. And that is when. Uh, immigration, whether it's uh, FDNS, Fraud Detection and National Security, which is part of USCIS, or if it's uh, ICE, which is, you know, ICE, mm-hmm. um, they call a local place, uh, local jail or, or prison, and say, hey, you've got this guy. He is here unlawfully. He's uh, he's he's going to be in your system for a while. We want you to call us and tell us when he's getting out so we can pick him up and deport him. Now, everybody in the Ninth Circuit says no. Local police like Oakland PD, San Francisco PD, any of those, the sheriff departments of Alameda County and San Francisco County, Mm -hmm. they pretty much say, no, we're not doing that. We're just going to cut them loose whenever we feel like it. Fucking (sighs) hell. So what's going to happen? What's what's the end result? Because I know Trump did this. The end result is that, I mean, it's the same thing with, uh, well, I don't don't know, honestly, about this because... (sighs) The, I've never Can seen this. Fresh it? This yeah. this is a very very fucking big deal that this has been done. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like it's a severe limitation on travel of U.S. citizens based on the behavior of their home state. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. This is I don't I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this before. 
come out of the executive office. Well, uh, so going back to the State of the Union like the, address. The travel ban on foreign citizens is one thing. This is, a, this is not a travel ban, but is a travel limitation on U.S. citizens. That's crazy. That, that I don't think anything like this has ever happened before. And, and again, going, going back to the State of the Union address, Trump mentioned in his speech the other night that it, they were passing a bill to allow uh, Americans in these sanctuary states who've been harmed by uh, illegal aliens um, <coughs> to be able to sue the state themselves for not keeping them safe in these yeah. instances. That's a massive deal. It is, nobody's yeah. really talking about that <clears throat> no. either. No, it's, it's unpopular on the left, obviously, because... This is where, like, classic liberalism has a place, and it's very important to the progression of a society. Not progressiveness, but progression of society. But liberalism tends to run amok when things become a little too comfortable. We've talked about this before. Like, the less you have to worry about food, shelter, and money, mm -hmm. the more you worry. You just turn inward and start thinking about social issues, and you should, right? But there's got to be a limit. Like, we'll, we'll get, there's another story down the list here about uh, Barnes & Noble. Fucking idiots. Um, <clears throat> but anyways... When you go so far left that you're no longer being smart, that's where it becomes a problem. And this is like Trump is prone to hyperbole like all politicians are, right? Mm -hmm. He's going to say fucking dumb shit and like ex over-exaggerate things, blah, blah, blah. But there are concrete examples, a lot of them, of people who are in here in this country unlawfully who have been deported multiple times. But because of a lack of cooperation from local law enforcement mm -hmm. have fucking murdered people, mm -hmm. American citizens, right. like that's it. If it happens one time, that's one time too many. And it's, we don't, we, we're under no obligation to extend rights to people that don't come here legally. And I know that's, and follow the law. That's tough. And I, but I agree with Milo. I think we should have a lottery <clears throat> that's a com combination of America's needs, like we need these Scientists, people with this kind of training, yeah. and then, then just general human compassion. Like these people are getting fucked over. Let's get them here and get them sorted out. Right. That's what we got to do. We're not doing it. And, uh, you know, the states are trying to take it into their own, own hands. It, it's interesting how this all works. So every lo level of law enforcement, whether not law enforcement, but every level of law, whether it's law enforcement or, or representatives or U.S. Congress and, and the Senate, they try to affect change in whatever way they can. And uh, the states are seeing that nothing's being done about immigration, so they want to fucking put Minutemen in Arizona down there. Those assholes did that shit. And then uh, uh, California thinks that immigrants are being treated unfairly, so they they just like, fuck it, we're not going to enforce any laws anymore. Neither one of those are the right answer. You know what I mean? But it's funny how we choose which ones we like and which ones we don't. Because when California told the U.S. government to get fucked and just started selling weed to everybody, we were just like, all right, cool. We don't have a problem with that, right? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's, you know... It's, it's problematic when you treat the law that way. So this is, this is unprecedented. I've never seen anything like this in law before. I've never seen the executive office pretty much tell an entire state to get fucked. I mean, these, there have been threats before. You remember what Trump in 2017 um, was saying if they didn't start enforcing immigration law, he was going to hold federal funding from mm -hmm. California. Now, ultimately, I don't think he has the authority to do that, but he absolutely has the authority to do this. So... Your move. It's gonna it's Go. gonna get real fucking interesting because there's nothing that pisses people off more than uh, limiting oh, yeah. their ability to get through TSA. Especially fucking New Yorkers, dude. Oh god. <laughs> uh, look, I'm pissed off, and I don't live in New York. Yeah. Uh, already. Uh, next up, Switzerland's divided over the new law against homophobia. Uh, the Swiss have a bill that will strengthen existing legislation against discrimination or incitement of hatred on ethnic or religious grounds to include sexual orientation. Critics of the law, who have forced a public referendum on the issue, believe that it will end up censoring free speech. The law would penalize, aka criminalize, homophobic comics, comments uh, such as, oh, is it the F word? No, can they not say that over there? Um, <clears throat> so what are the comments? The deal is, what are the, what are the comments? You can't yeah. call someone in public you couldn't just walk up to a stranger and say faggot to them. Okay. But if it was a friend of yours, and this is literally in the law, mm -hmm. if it's in a quote unquote made in a family setting or among friends, then it's not oh enforceable. So if you, if I just called you a faggot, then that's fine. Sure. But if I called another human being that I didn't know out in public, like it's, this is super weird. Here's, I want people that are fucking racist and homophobic and whatever else 
to be on display. Let them say whatever the fuck they want because then I know I don't need to talk to that asshole ever again. Right. You know what I mean? Everything else that comes out of their mouth, I know, like, cut yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, that's, that to me, that's like fucking the scarlet letter. Like, if you're an asshole like that, just fucking tell me, dude, and I don't, we can skip all this bullshit. Yeah. And we'll move on with our lives. But making laws about it like this is fucked. Yeah. Honestly, it, it, like, you can't, you can't criminalize speech like this. Mm. You just can't do it unless it's, like, Brandenburg v. v. Ohio, which is a case involving the KKK inciting violence, right? There has to be direct calls for violence against a very specific group of people. Like, if you're just saying, I fucking hate these people, fucking whatever, and just start using slurs, yeah, it's crass and irritating and, 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 and stupid, but you can't go to jail for shit like that. Come on, man. It also it, it kills your, any kind of point you're trying to make. Uh, I put up, we put up a <coughs> meme on uh, our Instagram on Drinking Bros uh, about Trump getting acquitted. Yeah. And there was somebody that wrote, oh, you guys are, fuck you guys, white trash, whatever, and mm. then they just kept writing. And the last comment was, you guys are fucking fags. And I was just like, any kind of point you were trying to make yeah. now just went out the window because you called us a fucking... Ad hominem is what it's called, that yeah. kind of argument where you ignore the facts of the case and just attack the person's character. Well, it's because you have no more case. You don't have a case right. to, stance on, to stand mm. on at all. So the minute you start calling someone names or you attack who they are mm. or their looks, yeah. is the minute that you unfortunately don't <clears throat> have the capacity or understanding to continue on in a conversation right. or argument and all your facts are invalid and that's yeah. what you do. Yes. You're that's, losing. Ad hominem is a logical fallacy in, in, in debate. Yeah, it's literally called a fallacy to do that. So it's dumb. But the point of this is, and I want to hear from you and you on this specifically. Like, how far can we go with special laws to protect the feelings of certain people? Like it's if it's to protect their safety, like you can't yell fire in a movie theater. Mm -hmm. That's illegal. It's inciting panic. Got it. Right. But if you're standing there with a megaphone yelling the word faggot over and over. Yeah, you're going to hurt some people's feelings, but are you, are you creating a situation that didn't exist before? By that, I mean, are you convincing people mm -hmm. who weren't previously prejudiced to be prejudiced and then to take action mm -hmm. on that prejudice? Because that's what Brandenburg v. Ohio is, is, is all about. Yeah, I, to me, you're inciting violence because there's going to be gay people out there that will probably want to kick the shit out of you. Right. Therefore, it would incite violence. Like the other night, Justin, when you made me dinner, you screamed out, your food is ready, honky. And mm -hmm. I think I, I think I punched you right in the chest. Um, I'm going to just glaze over that. But like, um, <laughs> if you keep it below the neck, <laughs> it's not domestic violence. No. I think. And if you, you go right in the middle of the chest, cause nobody else is going to see that. Just do a quick sternum rub. It hurts <laughs> way worse. than <laughs> yeah, That's true. Punch. That's what you did. To him last yeah. Night. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I think it's a, I always think that's a slippery slope, I right? Know. Especially right now. Where where does it end, right? Exactly. The minute you start infringing upon people's freedom of speech. And, and then, I think there can be case by case where it's like, if it's a hate crime, it's yeah. a hate crime. That's right. right. Yeah. Like that would be persecuted. What, what, so is, what, what is a hate crime though? I mean, like it, if I murder, like first of all, most assault and murders happen against people of your own race. Like mm -hmm. 85 to 90% of them happen within the same race. Sure. So... As usual in American politics, particularly from the left, we're reducing the entire issue down to a very narrow part of the issue because it's woke. Like guns, for example, all rifles combined, not just assault rifles, mm -hmm. account for about 2.4% of gun deaths in this country. Mm -hmm. And assault rifles, as you, if you want to call it that, way less. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're, we're, this whole massive gun debate that's going on in the United States is about less than 2%. And but it's only imploded because of particular things going well, it's on. It's because people. it's because white children on television get killed mm -hmm. by assault rifles, and black and people in the inner city get no, killed no. by handguns. So nobody cares about handguns. Sure. It's the most racist fucking yeah. bullshit from the left I've ever seen. Well, in Fair. this case, uh, how how is it that we're focusing on this super narrow issue instead of like, look, we should. It is the it is the job of the majority to protect the minority for sure. Yes, and it's it's the job of the government to protect all its citizens. I got it, but we're focusing all of our political will on this one little thing, and trying to <clears throat> like what what is the intent of punishing someone more or more severely for a hate crime versus a normal murder? Like if I killed you and I killed a black person, would I get more jail time for killing the black person if it was racially motivated? 
Yes. And, yes. But I know I would. So yeah. why, right. but why? What, is that, why? what does that achieve? Because we know all the research, and the left loves this because they're anti-death penalty. All the research shows that harsher penalties, including the death penalty, have no fucking uh, no effect on people committing murders. Yeah. Like, it is not a deterrent no. to crime or no, murder. No, no, no. So, if it's not meant to be a deterrent, because statistically we know that is not going to be the case, what is the point? Just to make a point? I don't get it. Well, what's the fucking the point, point of this law? the point is because we can't tell people to, you can't take away freedom of speech, right? You can't take away all these things that, like, feel wrong just because they feel wrong. So, the one thing that yeah. you can, you can do a couple things, which is if it's proven to be hate speech... It's a harsher crime. And really, that's the most you can do, right? Because you can't guess, tell them not to, like you're saying, go on the street and yell faggot. Like, yeah. you can't really tell them not to do that. It sucks, right. and everybody know it sucks, but mm. you can't tell yeah. them not to, right? So you do what you can do where you can do it. Yeah. I mean, that's that to me seems like uh, kind of silly. For sure it's silly. Like, I'm why just not, saying. Why like, not take that money and... and um, run develop programs like uh humanizing the badge or merging vets and players or i, I can't remember the name you. i can't remember the name of the organization but whatever the ones that puts inner city black kids nfl players and cops together is a good one too mm-hmm. yeah uh, i don't know why we can't do shit like that with that money and, and political will instead of all this nonsense i agree yeah i agree but also do we really care about switzerland no fuck them. <laughs> no no <laughs> to great, be honest great plan uh, next up, Barnes and Noble cancels plan to put people of color on the covers of classic books. After backlash, <laughs> I couldn't. I, I didn't think this was a real article. I thought it was the Onion. This or is something. the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. Is it dude. not the Onion? No, it's no. CNN. No, this is this came from CNN. Um, <laughs> this is great. So here's what the plan was. Yeah, tell them please. For, for Black History Month, uh, there was they had an event planned at their flagship store in New York. Um, oh. Where they were going to take classic novels, such yeah. as The Wizard of Oz, uh-huh. and replace the main character on the cover with a black person. Yeah. Okay. For all of their books. Look, uh, but it's an art installation, no? It's an art show. It's not what's really going to happen to the books. No, they were going to sell the books Yeah, with the, the, the things books. on there, I believe. Yeah. You buy the books with... with uh, okay. With, just, but either way, what is the point of this? Like... This is this is mm, so goddamn okay. dumb, dude. This is this is another one of those things like you were talking about where it's just kind of a handout. Like, yes. oh, here you go. It's like woke like we can't actually do anything for you. Can't you. do anything. But here so you here's go. here's some fucking nickels. Yeah, we yeah, feel yeah, better yeah. about you ourselves. Hopefully, yeah. you feel better about yourself. Yeah. and we're all fucking good, it's right? Woke, and then we can put our heads back. It's in woke the sand. marketing. It's nonsense. Uh, like the point of examining history and recognizing the mistakes we've made, right, is to learn from and then correct that behavior in the future. So if we start whitewashing this and pretending like it never happened, like removing the N-word out of Mark Twain's books, Mm -hmm. right? What does that accomplish? We need to remember that people fucking talked like that back then. Not to to champion it, but to remember that those people were fucking ignorant assholes. And I think the smartest people on earth at that time were ignorant racist assholes. It's important to remember that, not only to see how far we've come, to remember not to let that shit happen again. Right. And I think it's insulting. Like it would be insulting to me if someone was like, hey, is this good? And you're like, no, that's not fucking good. I don't care. Like, don't (laughs) do it. Right. (laughs) Yes. Like Mm. that's insulting to them, I think. But this is just the weirdest. I I can't believe. I always wonder. It's going to keep happening (laughs) over and over for the rest of our lives. I always wonder how many levels of executives ideas like this have to go through. I always yeah. think about that. Yeah. Because I think about the rooms, what they're talking about. Yeah. Like it was people going, oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm good with it. Like, in, yeah. in this case, it was not enough. They needed more bureaucracy. I believe. Not more. Well, they needed together, one yeah. person that I wasn't can, white and old. Tell you spending time in all of these publishing houses. I, I know exactly who it is. It is rich, white, mm. typically older women in their forties to fifties who run all of this shit in the publishing world. Um, this is they are so out of touch it is beyond comprehension like i i've told people this a million times who, who want to write books and all this shit like this is what it is exactly this mm. woke marketing and all this other so, shit like, they'll sit there and just dicker with all of it um here's the thing in the article that you sent there was yeah, a yeah. good tweet about 
uh, could we just promote black authors? Exactly, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Instead yeah. of putting dude. this does fucking nothing. Frederick, it's gonna be the same there, book. There's a there's a uh, a biography of Frederick Douglass that's out right now that's fucking dope as fuck if you haven't read it. Just, Put that on at, the it's fucking at every airport. F- yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's everywhere. Do everywhere. that for Black History Month. Yeah. 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 Like this does nothing. Th- this is a weird metaphor, but Ross and I are sports fans. We didn't grow up wanting to be the white Michael Jordan. We grew up wanting to be Michael Jordan. Yeah, Correct. like black kids should grow up wanting to be a, as good a writer as as like whoever it is, Mark that, Twain, whomever it is, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. whomever it is. Yeah. like forget about like he was a good author. He was just an ignorant racist asshole. Sure, but his ability is unquestionable. So it was of the time. We want we I want kids to grow up to want to be the best scientist or the best player or the best whatever, not the best white or black or asian version of those things that's fucking retarded that's yeah not what this right country and it's is. Ins- no, yeah. again it's insulting to a black child or anyone yes. to be like this is this will help you right mm-hmm. will this mm-hmm. inspire you yeah if i make them your color he's like i'm not fucking stupid yeah i know what the fucking story is i know what it is this doesn't help me at all no 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 that's I, very insulting and again it's going to keep happening over and over and over again i fuck just going through matt's book um, for, for these conversations, for the cover of this, um, I, I think it's on camera here on our YouTube page. So they wanted him, and this is for the, the women, by mm-hmm. the way, they wanted him to look pretty, as, as beautiful as he possibly could, because that would sell to mm-hmm. uh, I mean, he's females across the nation. Uh, I guess women read more than men Blamo. in the book world. Uh-huh. Um, so he, he is, this is as perfect as you could possibly make him look. Uh, originally, there was a gun in his hand. They did not want guns on books. Uh, nothing you can do about that. Uh, the hmm. version of America and, and the flag and everything else, like, I mean, they'll go, they'll pick through every single thing of it, but they're thinking of how to sell this to housewives <clears throat> across America, what they'll respond to. I get that. That makes sense to me. That is marketing. Sure. But this, if failed. the point of all this shit mm-hmm. is not just to draw attention to yourself and make yourself look good and deal with your fucking white totally. guilt, if the point is to affect change, then pretending like bad shit didn't happen. Is the fucking worst way. That's the like pretending way. I don't. Well, I don't really have cancer. But the yeah. problem. But the problem Buddy. is they don't want to. <laughs> you affect, have they, they don't really want to affect change. No. They no. want to make it seem. They want to make money. They want to make it look like they, they care. Make, they want to make they money. Really yeah. fucking don't. They don't. Care. They want to yeah. make money off. They want to give themselves cover and make money off the fucking political intrigue involved in this. Yeah. That's all they want to do. Yeah. And I don't want to brag, but I'm not much of a reader. So. Yeah. <sighs> Married to an author. So this story. I'm mean, this, this life every day. Out of breath. Oh, God. Uh, I don't like, I'm not bragging. <laughs> I've never set foot in one before. <laughs> what, a bookstore? Except for coffee. Yeah, well, like, well duh. That's different. Millennials. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I uh, love the coffee at Barnes & Noble. Yeah, it's huh? so great. Never picked up a book there. No, no, no ever. No, not, not a prayer. Great a prayer. scones. No. Uh, last but not least, it's Oscar weekend. Uh, let's go through some predictions here, shall we? If you're playing at home, which there's a lot of people in pools and things like that, um, I win every single year. I can just breeze Does, through My these. bookie's got all this stuff too, right? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. do? Mybookie.com has, has got this. I would do that. Promo code Drinking Bros doubles your deposit. <laughs> I can win you almost every fucking category, and I'll gun through it real quick. I, it's all, by the way, all Oscars are is campaigning. Uh, it is never really about oh, the best dude. or the really? best projects. Yes. Hold on. Before we get into the Oscar shit, I just saw something that I haven't seen before on my bookie, and I know this isn't a sports show, but this oh, is yeah, yeah. fucking fuck great, sports. dude. You'll have... Oh my God. No, no, no. They, they do other things other than sports. Like you'll who will get a, killed? You'll have a small segment. Go. This is the one. It's it's which terrorist will Trump capture or kill next? Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. I like great. that. Read them all. Okay, I like Read that. I would do that. I mean, there's fucking 50 of them, dude. Oh, shit. Yes. Okay. There's a long list. And then there's another one. Well, I told Who's the highest favorite. odds? Yeah, what are the favorites? The yeah. favorite is uh, Hussam Abd al Rauf. Got I'm it. Not sure who that Done. is. Oh, yeah. Let's look him up. See who he is. See um, who he is. <laughs> So, I would do that wager. Uh, by the way, yeah. so my bookie All does day. shit and I would like do this. The that is not, yeah, they're non-sports related. They do Oscars. Oh, okay. They I would do, do the terrorists. Oscars. They do who's gonna your favorite character that's gonna ki- get killed on Walking Dead. Oh, they uh, do the Bachelor shit. Yes, Game of Thrones. They, they do all of it for prop. Bets. Okay, well, yeah. I'm okay now. Okay, yeah. 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 I thought it was just you guys were just going straight into sports again. No, I was like, look, oh my gosh. look they, since they legalized gambling on the Supreme Court last year, last summer, you can pretty much gamble on anything. Any, I bet on anything. There we go. The, the problem is, if you know it, um, full disclosure, I knew something was going to happen, so I put some money on it beforehand. We get, I get tipped off by a cop about Urban Meyer, so I bet yeah. everything on that. <clears throat> yeah, we got to. <laughs> about we gotta, what? <laughs> That's no fair, Z. You're going to get arrested. No, I'm not. No, we, this isn't a publicly 
uh, insured institution. It's not insider I can, trading. I can cheat these guys all I want. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so if any of you guys it. are out there in the tier one operator community, shit, you might be able to fucking win some money here. There you go. <laughs> Take your whole deployment <laughs> check oh and put God, on Homeboy and then go find out and shoot him in the fucking face. You bro. could do that too. Yeah. yeah. Just saying. That works. Um, there's also a uh, country to join Iran and declare war against us, and there's a whole list of those. Um, oh, that you can great. gamble on. There's so much cool shit here. Yeah. MyBookie.com, <laughs> promo code Drink of Bros. That was your deposit. <laughs> I love this shit. Um, Anyways. So if you're looking at this article, though, they so they have highlighted the ones they think are going to win. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, don't, I'm, I'm, uh, don't do that. I'll just tell you who's going to win. Um, oh. Because they're wrong. Uh, oh. Usually. I will say some of these movies I haven't seen, and I know Chris bought, or we rented the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, mm -hmm. and, and both of us were like, Yep. Uh, it's weird. 15 minutes in, it, it lost our I mean, I it lost it. our attention. I love, look, it's, Tarantino's You could tell it was favorite. Quentin Tarantino right away, and I was like, I don't. It was so a good like movie. Quentin, I don't like some of his movies. I don't like the, the way he directs some scenes. It just takes so slow it, to he's me. He's got a style. It's, it's yeah. very he's got a style. Uh, sure. particular he's style. Tarantino, look. He, yeah. I love him. He's one of my favorites, but this movie didn't land for me personally. Yeah. I yeah. thought it was a good movie, but I don't. I don't think it's Oscar quality, and I didn't. It's definitely not one of his best. And also, the thing with the Manson family was weird. It was like so, the, it, just, it was such a small part of it. Didn't ever pop up. It's no. very strange. It never pop up. I don't want to give it away, um, but we'll run <laughs> down it. Uh, best picture. Here's gonna, the winner is going to be 1917. Um, I can promise you that. Uh, I don't know if any of these other ones can win. Parasite. Maybe I Joker. That was a TV Maybe show. Joker's the only one, or yeah, but or, he's, or, his, his campaign, him. by the way, Todd he's Phillips doing campaign, horrible because, like, behind the scenes, he's in Hollywood, pissing people yeah. off. Yeah, he does not care about the Oscars, so he's mm. pissed everybody off. Yeah, they're not going to give him that. He's uh, grabbing waitresses, talking in, shit. Exactly, mm. that'll go into the next category, best director, which he's really. up for. He's not going to win that either. It's going to no, be Sam, yes. Sam Mendes. Mendes is definitely going to win yeah. that. 1917. They're going to win. 17 will probably win best picture, probably best director. It'll probably also win best cinematography. I think it's the runaway favorite for those for cinematography. Correct. I think that's true. Uh, best actor will go to Joaquin Phoenix. Feel free to bet the house on that. Um, he's swept every other category. Best actress will go to Renee Zellweger. Uh, she swept every category. Brad Pitt is going to win best supporting actor, uh, not because of this movie, because I truthfully he didn't, they didn't he didn't have a lot to do in this, but. Um, it's body of work on this, same way DiCaprio won for Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, he will win for this. I can promise you that. Uh, best Supporting Actress is going to go to Laura Dern. You can put money on that. Best Original Screenplay. Now, this one's going to go to Tarantino. There is no better screenwriter ever. The reason why he's a fucking genius, whatever article this is, is saying Parasite, not a prayer. Uh, it's going to be Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Parasite, um, maybe, if they They're going to give woke. him something. Well, no, they're going to get best foreign film for sure. Best foreign film, yes, absolutely, they'll get best foreign Correct. film. But I, I don't know, uh, I don't know if they'll screenplay, win screenplay. I'm telling you, people take days off. Whenever a Tarantino screenplay leaks in town, all the assistants take the day off and read it. He is. It's like reading a novel. And he's won already he's for it, right? The best writer there is. Um, At yes, one of the has, award shows, he he's the one he hasn't won is best picture, and I don't think he's going to win this. No, year he won't. Either. No. Uh, adapted screenplay is going to go to Jojo Rabbit. Um, I think it might go to Little Women. Little bitches, man. That player. one. They're going to give her something. I promise you. I want to see the budget for screenplay. that. I want to see how much money they spent on wardrobe for that fucking movie. Which I, one? For Little, Little Women. Women? Uh, Little I want to see how much. I bet they spent fucking twenty million dollars just on clothes. Whenever you're doing shit. a period, for piece sure. Like I'm that, just saying they're going to give it to her because uh, the Oscars listens, not to everything, but they definitely mm. listen to the woke people in their fucking community and they're gonna give her something they yeah. cannot give her nothing but this, isn't isn't the woke attitude that when white women or when women do win it's always white women yeah so how far are they gonna go this here? is so a this is a know. black this uh, this taika Waititi is a huge fucking behind the scenes guy in hollywood that everybody wants right now uh, i'm telling you don't bet against me on these categories uh adapted screenplay he's going to win Mark. um Best no words. foreign film is going to go to Parasite. Dan is correct on that. Um, animated feature. This is a hard one. Uh, I, I think it's Toy Story 4 just because we see a lot of these goddamn movies. Um, I would like to see that. Mm -hmm. However, um, this missing link won the Golden Globe. And typically the trends in that usually go towards that. I don't think How to Train Your Dragon, the fourth one or whatever it is, is going to win. I'd like to see Toy Story 4. But uh, a lot of money is on missing link. Um, documentary, Jabes. The cave. You got the cave in this one. I have the cave. <laughs> They've been com campaigning very well towards the end. Very well. Um, look, I think it's going to be American Factory. Reason it's being, Barack you know, it's and produced Michelle by Obama, yeah. correct. It's produced by the Obamas. 
They want to see them there. I'm th- I, I okay. would imagine they will be there. Um, I haven't seen it. Is it any good? No, nobody's seen. I, I haven't seen any of these. Have you? Oh, I've seen it. You didn't see it? No, I don't care. It's on Netflix, right? Um, it's Part very interesting. Yeah, and if you don't like China, it's a good one. Yeah. Um, and well, an American look. Netflix just got. It's pops. really good, actually. They spent a hundred million dollars in Oscar campaigning. Yeah. No one loves the Obamas more than Hollywood. I, it doesn't even matter how great the other movies are. Yeah. They're just going to give it to the Obamas. Is this, just to get him an Oscar. I'm not really big on this scene at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, is this pretty normal for them to have just about 10 movies that they seem to be going yeah. back and forth on throughout all these categories? Because yeah. I'm seeing literally the same movies every on year. everything. Yeah. Every year. But I mean, this is a full year of movies, mm-hmm. right? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I know, and, I, and, you know, there is snubs and stuff. There's things where you're like, dude, that definitely should have been in there. But once they make their – and they're all sheep, right? So, like, once they make their selections, then everyone's like, okay – yeah. That's my favorite too, and now, then it all finally goes to the Oscars. Is it better is for the these guys to put out their movies later on in like the season yes. too, so that Here's they're more October forefront people's December minds? Okay, because I'm noticing it. there's a lot of movies that were released at the beginning of the year that are in here Correct. that were yeah. probably good, right? Good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, people forget. Okay, and, and so that's what I can... noticed too. Go ahead. So. No, I'm just no, I'm just noticing this because I'm not big in this realm, so I'm sitting there going, "These are all the other part of same movies." The other part of it is they double down with their marketing budget, and they're able to market both the movie and. The, the Oscar, Oscar campaign, campaign at the yeah. same time. So, it's uh, so okay. if it's a smaller movie, like you're either in the Spirit Awards or you're just not fucking yeah, going to do it. Which is the independent. you don't have awards money. To the Spirit Awards are basically the NIT of uh, uh, yeah, exactly. movie awards. Uh, visual effects. That's going to go to 1917. Uh, yeah. you can go ahead and mark that down. Film editing. Um, probably Ford versus Ferrari just because of the racing scenes and all the CGI. I mean, it'll, it'll either be that or 1917. For yeah, sure. and probably sound mixing and editing. Yeah. Um, Original song, uh, I think they've got this pegged as the Rocket Man song. I'm not. It's not going to be that. It's going to be a stand up from Harriet. Reason being is it's the same chick who played Harriet Tubman in this. Mm. Um, <clears throat> she sings the song. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh yeah. She'll so they right feel now. they're going to feel bad. This is exactly what happens because she's not going to win. Right. So they're mm-hmm. not going to give a black actor a black actress best actress. They're going to feel bad. So they're going to give her the runner up award, which is original song. They did this to Lady Gaga a couple years ago. For uh, well-known black actress, Lady no, Gaga. but uh, for fucking movie is it Star is a Born? Star is mm. Born. Um, well, a Star is Born just didn't. She was great. I thought she was showed one Best Actor, but they gave her that award to make up for the other one. They're going to do it in this uh, production design. Um, man, uh, this is saying 1917. That's that's incorrect. It's going to be uh, Once Upon a Time one. in Hollywood. That was the best recreation of 1960s What's Irishman Hollywood. Irishman going to win anything? I don't think so. Mm. It was. Look, got to get something. No, it doesn't. Longest movie? Is there something for that? <laughs> yeah, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood <clears throat> to, to make L.A. look like that from the '60s, especially with the traffic and all that shit in L.A. Like, this is all L.A. people who are voting on this. Everybody who saw that was just going to be like, dude, it looked amazing from the '60s. Uh, cinematography. This is Roger Deakins for 1917. Dan's correct. It's either ha- it's either that one or, or Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Deakins I mean, is the best fucking cinematographer in L.A. Yeah. He is on back order for 19 years to try to get him to be the cinematographer of your movie. Uh, and to my knowledge, he hasn't won. He's going to win this one. He's oh, been no, nominated like 19 times. I, I'm sorry. I said Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I meant Ford versus Ferrari. I'm surprised it's not in this category because that's not easy to shoot. No, it is not. Um, but uh, Roger Deakins is the best in the biz, and he's, he's number one. To my knowledge, costume design. Here you go, Dan. Uh, little Women's. Mm-hmm. It's gotta. It's gotta be right. Pop in your Little Women. Oscar, and then hey, yeah. be pleased everyone on this one. I mean, do you think so? Yeah, Ooh. because I mean, the other options. Joker wasn't. I mean, it, it is what it is. There's a lot of clown outfits, but aside yeah, from that, I, it's it's like a normal 19, 1980s or 90s. Jojo Rabbit is just a bunch of Nazi costumes. It's just like you go down to Warner Brothers and you can get all those Nazi costumes. I would. Probably, I mean, I've got one in my fucking room. Or Once at Upon home. a Time. I, so, so I would lean Did towards Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but because Little Women got nothing, they'll probably give them give them this. I just want to address the fact that I just said that I have Nazi costumes at my house and no one said anything. Ah, well, I'm not surprised. No one's surprised. We don't judge. Uh, Megan Benair, Bombshell. Makes I, total whoever sense. made Homegirl look exactly like Megan Kelly. Holy Fair. fucking shit, dude. It's, a, it's, a, it's an Asian person who yeah. does it. That's a crazy... Maleficent, actually. Kazoo Mind Hero. Brain. Yeah. Kazoo Hero, maybe. Because they want that drama there. Yeah. Uh, sound mixing. Probably will go to Ford versus Ferrari. Just because all that crazy fucking... Well, I, no, I, I think it's either them or 1917. 1917's got the 
upper hand in a lot of these because they have this fucking long ass single shot combat scene mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that is I mean for cinematography I don't think even Ford versus Ferrari can beat it because of that because it's such a fucking yeah they made it all look one like one goddamn edit have you seen one it take. yes yeah. is it so good it's uh, it will challenge you your like attention it? span your okay. attention span well, I, I oh but it. I'm dumb so what no, no, about no, a normal no not because of that because you just don't I, I think it's hard for they really dive normal deep into the car world no, no, this is the no, World War, War movie. This is the oh, World War okay. Oh, um, I thought it was like a one-shot. One no, 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 I, I mean, think it's I, like a one-shot. I, yeah, I mean, a lot of it is, and I don't think um, a lot of it just won't resonate with you because you've never been in war and don't understand what the fuck's going on. You can tell that there's drama going on and shit like that, but there's it, there's a lot of attention to detail in this that's going to be lost on you, and without that attention to de- detail, 45-minute single scenes are hard to fucking follow. It happened with Game of Thrones, right? That combat scene they had. It was just like, oh, my God, I felt tired as shit after I watched that. Yeah, yeah. That, what was it, episode four of the last season or some shit? It was like 48 minutes. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. like a, a single combat scene. scene. Yeah, a single combat scene of, of 48 minutes, and it was like afterwards, I enjoyed it, and it was cool and shit, but it was like, man, I felt exhausted after that shit. Yeah. You have to pay attention the whole time. I'm just warning you. I would see it if I were you because it's a good movie, but it may challenge. My tiny little your, mind. No, I got tiny it. brain, yeah. No, I get uh, it. The rest of these are so short. You're saying that this got best picture and all of this, but everyone that's seen it has been to war. I fucking doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll try it, Dan. I'll give it a fucking little gozy, that's okay? That's the, the biggest complaint they've had about that movie is that it challenges people's attention span. I'll be uh, challenged, too, because I haven't been to war. So. You don't need to go. It's not oh. that big a deal. Uh, the rest of these are, are animated shorts and all that other like, bullshit. I got yell at Dan on his side brain, thing, too. Because he likes it. No. no reason to, uh, to to bring up shorts because nobody sees them. Nope. Therefore, Don't know why they're uh, still no even one, in the... No one can give you an accurate assessment What about an animated those. short? Exactly. Jesus Christ. Visual effects, they're giving it to the Lion King. Oof. They mm, want to uh, give it something? I don't know. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm yeah. I'm not with that. I mean, I would go with this uh, effects. Uh, I would go with Avengers on that one. That was like 1917. Maybe, but that like the effects in that are a lot of them are practical. Like this is this is actual effects. Like yeah. practical yeah, effects yeah, yeah. versus special effects. Yeah. You can't compare the two. I don't. I think. mean, if you if you go to an Avengers set, it is just fucking endless it's walls plywood. of green screen. <laughs> yeah, that's plywood it. and green screen. That's it. Yeah, but and you've got to create this world and. Yeah, it's it's insane. Yeah, I think they should win. You're, but, you're right, it, but they, the Lion King CGI was pretty fucking good. I mean, it, it tiptoed around the uncanny valley a little bit, but it wasn't as creepy as I thought it was going to be. Hmm. I mean, I was able to pound off to it. So <laughs> you can pound off to anything, though. If you I can, can jack off to yeah. lions, you can jack off to anything. Well, that's that's what the Bible says. That was the yeah. biggest complaint with Lion King that I heard. You, you couldn't, couldn't really off to jack it? Yeah. off to yeah. it. You yeah. couldn't jack off yeah. to, in the movie theater. But hey, well, give it a gozy. Give it a gozy. Bring a blanket. Uh, let's get to the drinking bro of the week, shall we? Um, this is sent in by Joshua Balmer. Uh, says, I want to give uh, a shout out to my cousin, Andy Deacon. He said, hey, man, I've been in the drinking bros for a long time, and I have not listened to the show. Started listening to the, the podcast, and now I'm fucking hooked. And um, I want to submit a drinking bro of the week because I think my, my cousin would have loved this show. Um, this man has done nothing but love and support. Uh, everyone and every person in his life. He was a TACP in the Air Force, deploying and kicking ass all the way through it. 2007, my dad and his brother, Ryan Balmer, were killed in Iraq by an mm-hmm. IED. This hit him hard and he was down. It almost ruined his marriage and affected him significantly. But he found this podcast and it helped him more than anything else could. He doesn't like to admit it, um, but he's basically uh, stepped in as a father figure here. Uh, and guided me through my life, and I recently started listening to the show as well, and uh, I love it. I mm-hmm. love the show, and I'm really grateful for it. Hey, man, Joshua, we're really grateful for you and yep. your cousin. Uh, thank you for all your support, and we love all of these submissions. Uh, if you're at home and you want to submit a Drinking Bro of the Week, go to Drinking Bro's podcast uh, Facebook page. Same with Broettes. Uh, go to the Drinking Broettes podcast Facebook page <laughs> and submit the Broette of the Week as mm-hmm. well. Uh, subscribe to uh, the Broettes on uh, YouTube. Subscribe on iTunes. Subscribe on Spotify. They are everywhere. And uh, rate us on iTunes. We never asked for that. Um, but we need to start doing that. Advertisers are like, hey, man. We you? ask for it. We don't. We don't. Dan yeah. and I don't. So go to Drinker Bros Podcast and rate the show. Give it a five-star and a review. Uh, for Tiffany Hartz, 
Jesse Wiseman, D'Anthony D'Anthony Holloway. I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros Fake News. Good night, everyone. Happy birthday, Dan. We love you, Dan. Happy birthday, Mr. President.